Warfarin, or commonly known as Coumadin. Warfarin is an anticoagulant that blocks the availability of vitamin K, which is essential for clotting. Warfarin is monitored by the INR level. The higher the INR level, the higher the risk of bleeding. Normal INR level is 1. For warfarin to be effective, the INR level needs to be higher than 1 to be therapeutic. Therapeutic INR levels differ based on the indication of warfarin use. For example, for patients who take warfarin for DVT, atrial fibrillation, or stroke, the INR level needs to be between 2 to 3. For those who use warfarin with a mechanical heart valve, the INR needs to be 3 to 3.5. If the INR level is higher than intended, warfarin needs to be stopped and vitamin K can be given to reverse the supra-therapeutic effect of warfarin. Warfarin has a long half-life. It takes five days to be therapeutic, so patients are usually on another anticoagulant like heparin simultaneously until warfarin becomes therapeutic. This is called the bridge therapy. Because warfarin is affected by vitamin K levels, it is important to educate patients to maintain a consistent intake of vitamin K from their diets. They do not need to avoid intake of vitamin K rich foods such as green, leafy vegetables, broccoli, spinach, kale, but instead should keep the intake consistent. Many medications can also interfere with warfarin metabolism and nutritional supplements may contain vitamin K. Educate patients to consult with provider before starting any new medication or nutritional supplement. Patients should be educated on bleeding precautions. Please refer to my last video on bleeding precautions.